don't leave. There's still tricks of boot. Uh, um, we check uh, audio levels and shit. I will. You okay, Josh? I just screamed my lungs out. How the hell do you think I am? <laughs> I'm sorry, I was too busy being on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> Your voice is dying, man. Just, I just first, I'd like to introduce everyone to a little friend of mine. You know, know him as one of the world's most famous oil tycoons. Ladies and gentlemen, it was a little man named Mr. Daniel Plainview. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, I've come across half on campus to be here tonight. I couldn't get away sooner because I am to ensure about my chocolate supply over in front of Sands. That stand in front with the chocolate is now producing at $2,000 a week and giving me a stipend as big as I like and they also give me all the Hershey's I can stand. Ladies and gentlemen, if I say I'm a rock and roll man, you will agree. There's no one else in this industry who plays like I do. Let me assure you, when it comes down to the show now, they will be there at every open mic. I will be at every open mic, playing my blistering riffs off my blistering fingers. <laughs> I don't dig around for hours on end looking for my wires, although apparently technology has begun to fight with me tonight. Hey, man, Twitter, son of a bitch! <laughs> I trusted that fucking pod for seven fucking years and he turns me away. It's killing itself. It's killing its image as my equipment. But besides that, I have a set of tools ready to go to work. This is my Ibanez. It's very cheap for a very specific reason. And this is my amp. I got it from my cousin for free. Just goes to show. It's good to know people. This is my partner, Mr. Mabratu. I love him like a brother. Brother from another mother, West Saeed. <laughs> now I'd just like to explain. The dealings that go on here, I am sure, I know the men who work for me, and they know me, and I know them, and I know their families, and at night I go into their houses and look through their trash. <laughs> <sighs> Dave, where are you? What's that, Dave? Dave? You've got a candy? Got Dave, a candy, Dave. Dave, dispense candy. Dave, 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 please dispense the candy. Because Dave, I have a little something I'd like to share with all of you that I understand about candy that gives me the predominance and power to rule over this vast candy supply. Now, Dave, say you have a chocolate bar, and I have a chocolate bar. And my hand reaches for crawl. starts to take your candy. I trick you for your treats, Dave. I trick you for your treats. I trick your treats! I take them all! I'm the great pumpkin, Dave! I am the one Jack Skellington has chosen! I am the great pumpkin! I am the great pumpkin! Cool. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Um, but now I'd like to play a number. It's from Beethoven's 137th symphony in D-flat. D-flat. <laughs> 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 I don't know how to play the piano. <laughs> 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 yes. So that was... Um, let me get a drink of water. You keep the audience entertained. There's a barrel of candy over there. Back in a moment, folks. What the hell? <laughs> now, Mr. Sorrell is going to get us some water. I believe this is our intermission. Everybody, this we 
came up with last year for the tuberculosis benefit. Do you realize the unfortunateness of the title about 10 minutes before the benefit? <laughs> 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 Brian, count us off. 